If you watch the mainstream news or listen to only those who claim the right to control your life, it's very likely that you have a pretty bleak outlook on the world today. But recognize that such a reality, the belief that you yourself can't possibly hope to address those problems as they're so overwhelming, is a very paradigm pushed by those who attempt to usurp your rights. Uncertainty and fear are peddled to gain your acquiescence. Their very existence and the scope of their actions are directly contingent on the authority you grant them. Fortunately, many individuals are thinking for themselves. They realize that though they're rightfully disillusioned, there must be a better alternative. If you're watching this video, it's likely you're already familiar with CopBlock. If not, I encourage you to check out CopBlock's about page. But briefly, CopBlock is a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goal of police accountability. We do not hate cops. We believe that no one, not even those with badges, has extra rights. We live by that fact and seek to share with others, both to safeguard our rights and those of future generations. We choose to focus on police because they are quite literally the teeth or enforcers of the state. In fact, police claim a right to initiate force. It is that institutionalized violence that is the issue. Copblock was founded three years ago this month. In that time, the project has grown from a Tumblr site to a group blog to its current iteration as a heavily trafficked resource but it's clear we're having an impact, but I know we can do more. That's the purpose of this video, to get from here to there. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some thoughts and ask for your help so that we can make more likely a reality where the institutionalized violence we see today is replaced by peaceful coexistence. My hope is for us to so thoroughly change the conversation about policing that the need for cop block becomes obsolete. I brainstormed components and tactics we could add or grow, and I incorporated feedback received from cop blockers. What is certain is that a handful of folks can't do it all. Key is decentralization and a consistent message. I identified three areas that I consider low-hanging fruit and that I think would offer a good return on investment should you have the interest and ability to help defray costs. Firstly, resources for local groups. We house at copblock.org slash groups all known contact info for offshoots as well as allies. This graphic shows the increased number of local groups from the fall of 2012 until now. How did this happen? We've created content, such as the starter group document, to help lessen the hurdle for proactive cop blockers, who then plan to flag and connect with those in their areas to help make a difference on the ground. We've created print-ready flyers to help make it easier to share ideas, made available through our store in an expensive 200-piece literature pack, and make ourselves available to brainstorm and work together where it makes sense. Just imagine how different, for the better, things will be when the simple act of making transparent the actions of aggressors becomes the norm. I'm asking for your help to provide active cop blockers with resources so that they can do more. Your reoccurring donation or one-time donation earmarked for resources will be used to have created primer resources like Know Your Rights documents and videos and crowdsourceable resources like print-ready flyers, graphics, a better smartphone app, and to provide literature to active groups. I hope and think a goal of getting 100 FRNs donated per month for resources is obtainable. And if the coin is there and it makes sense, one idea is to solicit proposals from groups on how they utilize it to have an impact in their area, then put the proposals to a vote on copblock.org and allow cop blockers to decide which group to award the coin. Think of it as an X prize of sorts for police accountability. Secondly, compensation for key components. Cop block is decentralized. We solicit submissions from those who've experienced, witnessed, or have commentary about police interactions. There's not a lack of such content. Thus far, we've received over 2,000 submissions. The editing and scheduling of these submissions has, for the most part of CopBlock's existence, been done by a volunteer or a group of volunteers. But more recently, I started compensating another CopBlocker to the tune of 150 FRNs a month, or about five bucks a day, to tackle this integral task. Ideally, it'd be great if this cost could be covered by folks who appreciate the work and who have deeper pockets than do I. In addition to the editor, Another vital component I hope to have better funded is our IT, which is quite literally the backbone of our operations, specifically the hosting that's provided by Liberty Web Alliance. Last year, copblock.org was taken offline by repeated DOS attacks. A small team of tech-savvy friends harnessed the site and moved it, as well as local copblock offshoots also based on WordPress, to a dedicated server. That provided much stability, yet recent site-related issues have again necessitated the need to step up our IT and with that comes costs, about 200 FRNs a month. So for these two components, editing and scheduling submissions, and IT, 
I'm hoping we can get reoccurring donations earmarked for key components at 350 FRNs per month. Thirdly, funding for more in-person collaboration. The internet has undoubtedly been instrumental for the sharing of ideas that now seem so basic. It's facilitated connections that ignore arbitrary political boundaries and underscore that we're not alone, which can only empower others to get involved. And it's allowed us to completely bypass those who historically have censored the free flow of information. Yet not to be discounted is in-person communication, which is unparalleled in its qualitative impact. Prior to focusing on CopLock, I spent time crisscrossing the states in MARV, the Mobile Authority Resistance Vehicle, with Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour. Adamo Freeman, who founded CopLock, was involved in both as well. When on the road, we created hundreds of videos and interacted with thousands of people, including some who've since founded CopLock offshoots. This past summer, I raffled off MARV and reinvested the coin into my current vehicle, a 1996 turbo diesel Tahoe. In mid-January, I planned to leave the Shire and roll to North Carolina to pick up my motorcycle. Instead of just rolling down and back over a couple of days, I plan to, over the course of the next month, meet with cop lockers from the Eastern Seaboard, Midwest, and Rust Belt, especially those who have founded groups, so that we can brainstorm, share ideas, hit the streets, and generate content. This past August, when traveling to visit family and friends, I was able to get together with the founders of Ohio Cop Lock and Minnesota Cop Lock. It was clear that our interaction was of much value to all involved. This one month John I'm proposing, which will end in late February in Nashville, New Hampshire at Liberty Forum, where I'm slated to speak about Cop Lock, will be a good way to prove the effectiveness of this outreach tactic on a smaller scale and make more realistic a future, longer tour that could incorporate outreach at colleges, know your rights trainings, and cop locking. Coin donated and earmarked for tour will be used to help make this possible. Fuel costs, which I estimate will be about a grand, will be my biggest expense. Any additional monies received will be used to provide resources to cop lockers met. So to summarize, if you find any of these three areas compelling, groups, key components, or short tour, you can help make them happen, that'd be much appreciated. Any other donations made to cop lock will be used to do outreach to current law enforcement employees to compensate cop lockers for creating graphics, for video contests and much more. Coplock uses WePay and Bitcoin. Thanks for your time. If you're not able to donate coin, it's all good. We appreciate your link love and even better, learning of your own peaceful, proactive efforts to cause those around you to think. Remember, decentralization is key. Feel free to implement any ideas you have. All content or graphics you see generated by Coplock are free for you to use or modify, and I'm always down to brainstorm. Just shoot me an email at pete at coplock.org. Peace.